This video is for attractive people only, so if you're not attractive, keep scrolling because you're not going to get it and you're just going to find super offense to this video and find it extraordinarily cocky. As an attractive person, you cannot be friends with people who are not attractive because I used to be the type of person to not really give a crap about the physical world and I would care about what's beyond the surface world. Yeah, a lot of people don't think like that. Attractive people are so targeted and not a lot of people want to talk about that because they're like, oh, you're attractive, your life must be perfect. You're not allowed to have problems, you're not allowed to have emotions, you're not allowed to complain, you're not allowed to do anything because anything you are saying is invalidated simply because you're attractive. At first, everyone will be super nice to you and they want to be your friend and you're like, oh wow, these people are so nice. The more time around you that they spend with you, they start realizing how people treat you because you are attractive and they're only seeing the good qualities in their eyes for some whatever reason. And so they will start trying to find every little thing that is wrong with you and try to point it out to humble you. They will find every single one of your flaws, every single one of your characteristic traits, and they will continuously just say that shit over. Okay, ma'am. I agree with that last sentiment there. I'm going to keep her picture up because she looks better than me. So maybe y'all want to look at her and not look at me. I mean, let me move her frame for it. Just over and over and over. Okay. Okay. So well, let's take a actual good look at this lady. Okay. P -p young woman, pretty eyes. A little beat up. Look like she's been running through the woods all day. Uh, hair is obviously trash. Um, nails, okay. Outfit, no. But I, I mean, she's clearly an attractive looking girl. Okay, if, we, if she fixed herself up, she's obviously attractive. She's got that symmetry going. Got a nice little line. Her eyes look pretty decent. You know, it's just everything else is going on. I don't know if she hates herself. I don't know what's going on, why she look like this. But nonetheless, um, <clears throat> let me say this. When it comes to attractive people, being friends with people who are not attractive, it's crazy to say that. And she's right. It does sound cocky because... For her to say that you can't be friends with attractive people because they're going to act nice. But as soon as they feel like they notice that the kind of attention you get and everything, they're going to start pointing out your flaws. They're going to start saying you're this or you're that. You may be right, ma'am. You, you absolutely may. I, I can't say that for a fact because I am not an attractive person. So we're going to speak from an unattractive person's perspective. If it was me and I have been around attractive friends. Okay. I don't tend to call out their flaws. What I tend to do is if I am around attractive people, I've had attractive friends, all you can do is do your best to bring yourself up, okay? You'll get to see how women treat men who look better. If you're a woman, you get to see how men treat women who look better. Don't, don't be mad. Don't be pissed off. It's the way the world works. It's the beautiful way to watch the game. But okay, at least I see how the world is different. And it also puts you in your place and perspective to be like, okay, I'm clearly not a 10. I'm clearly not a 9 or even an 8 or a 7 because you see how they get treated. You see how you get treated. The best you can do as a man, you can do the best you can to keep you, get yourself in the best shape you can. Get your money up and, you know, learn skills and learn things that are attractive features and attractive traits. For a woman, get your body in shape. And then learn how to be more feminine. That's going to help you get a long way. So I don't disagree with this young lady when she's talking about, yes, being around attractive, unattractive people, some people are going to get jealous. That's absolutely true. Now, let's continue because she goes on to talk about how some people want to be your friend, but they don't. Really. Over and over and over again. And it'll be in little subtle ways. So that way you can't really be like, what are you doing? You know, that's, that's a little weird. But you know what they're doing. The only other people who will ever truly understand you and truly be on your side are other attractive people. Because only they know the struggles and all the downfalls that come with being super attractive. Yes, people will treat you super, super nicely. But they don't understand how much that's only on the surface world and how so many people have bad intentions. So many people. They don't care about your personality. You are not a person. You are your body. And this concept was something that took me a very long time to learn because I think, like me and so many other attractive people, you don't realize how attractive you are. You don't. And you do not understand the true power that you hold. And so, to the attractive person who has not yet discovered their power, they're seeing all these things and all these people are pointing out these things and they genuinely think something's wrong with them.
They genuinely think, oh yeah, I'm just complaining too much. Oh yeah, I'm I'm this, I'm that, I'm whatever, I'm too blah, 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 blah. And it never stops. Like It never stops as you grow up. People will always do that. And that is why you can't surround yourself with ugly people. So uncomfortable. That's where I draw the line. That's where the line gets drawn. Ma'am, if you want to say unattractive, that's fine. See, where I don't like this video is where she starts to go to ugly people. Now, ma'am, that sounds cocky. That's where some people had a problem with you. It's one thing to say, I don't tend to hang out with people who are convincing and attractive. But when you call somebody ugly, you're saying some people who aren't on your level. See, the word ugly is an insult. I know some people don't think it's an insult. People you think it's a, it's a description. But if somebody was to pull you, let's say a cop pulled you over and said, oh, yeah, can you run this license on this ugly person? And it's not really a description. It's not, even if you're super gorgeous, nobody's going to say, can you run your, your license on this extremely gorgeous person? I mean, you don't have to say that. Say it unattractive and attractive is plenty enough. People understand. Adults understand. Ugly means that you find them, <clears throat> in my opinion, when somebody says somebody's ugly, they're not only saying they're unattractive, but they're, they're, they're adding more onto it. That could be like, oh, this person's a weirdo. He's a creep as well. And they don't look as good as me. And compared to the entire world, they're, see, ugly just means you're at the bottom of the barrel. Ma'am, just because people don't look like you doesn't mean they're at the bottom of the barrel. They could be average looking people. Doesn't mean they're ugly. They're just not conventionally attractive on your level. And so that's where I think her mindset and her cockiness starts to come in. Okay. My thing is, ma'am, you're living your life. You're getting the attention you want fine or you're getting attention you don't want that's fine in her point about attractive people don't know how attractive they are i'm sure because it's kind of you don't really know until the world tells you how attractive you are and then yes i'm sure there's some things that suck about being attractive because people do want to just have sex with you people do just want to take advantage of you people do put you in certain roles because you look good some people put you on tv and you don't have any skills but you look good and that's just the way the world works. Some people are going to have to work harder in other places. And you, as a person who is attractive, you may not have to work as hard to get certain things, but you'll have to work harder to prove yourself. We all get our lot in this life. You just kind of got to go with it. And one thing, too, is when a woman who's attractive gets married, things really change because you're no longer out there on that market. And so that's going to automatically push you down a peg as far as wanting to get certain opportunities because you're married. And it sucks to also to be distracted because men are always going to want you. The The rich, wealthy men are always going to go after you. So you're always going to have to protect your peace and always protect your family home. Right. So, yeah, there are some things that come with that's hard with being attracted. But I don't think you should ever have to go to the point of saying that's why I don't hang out with ugly people. It's the same thing with people who are wealthy. Let's say a man who makes six figures. To me, it's the same thing as a man going, that's why I don't fuck with broke niggas. I just feel like, and you see how disrespectful that sounds when you say that? That's how I feel like it would go around. So like, okay, just because they're not making six figures doesn't mean they're broke. Okay? Just because they're not doing what you're doing doesn't mean that you have to put them over here in this category that's bottom of the barrel. That's all I'm saying. Around ugly people because all they do is compare themselves to you. And they're like, oh. I just wish I was like you. I just wish I could do this. You don't get it. My problems are so much bigger. When in reality, funny part is, most time I've realized the ugly people who are complaining about their problems to me, and listen, I know people have a lot bigger problems than I do, but my problems are usually bigger than the ugly person's. And I'm like, you have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea. I mean, literally, I'm... Why do you have to be such a fucking weirdo? So I'm trying to stop cursing. Come on, baby. I almost made it the whole video. Dang it. I almost made it the whole video. Um, let me say this. She's right. She has more problems than a person who's conventionally unattractive. She's going to, all things being equal, saying, you know, as far as finances and everything else. If we put everything together, this person makes 60 day, makes 60 day. Let's say both of them are making working the same damn job. Yes, she will have more problems because more people will. More women are going to hate her and more men are going to like her. Yes, you're right about that because the woman who is conventionally unattractive is more than likely going to get looked right over because of you. Okay? So you're right. You're going to have more problems in that category, but you're right. You don't know what problems the person who's conventionally unattractive is going through. So... But I, I would agree that you're going to have more problems as far as when it comes to relationships than men. I think you'll have more problems. But as far as just life in general, no, nah, I think y'all probably have about the same problems.
I'm the one listening to them, and they're the ones complaining because ugly people are allowed to complain. Ugly people are allowed to complain. See now, see that that's when the bullshit starts. What do you mean ugly people are allowed to complain? You mean people who are unattractive? They're not. What are you, What are you saying? What do you mean they're allowed to complain? You go see. This is this is the problem is with some people who are attractive. They don't understand what it's like not to be attractive. So you don't understand what it's like for men not to want you. You don't understand what it's like for men to look right over your head. You don't understand what it's like to try to find a man, but all they want to do is fuck. Because they don't see you as that. They don't see you as attractive. They see you as a certain thing. You don't get that life because men who do want you, they're willing to spend money on you, baby girl. They're willing to take you out to a date. They're willing to do all this. They're not doing that with her. They're going to take her out to the cheapest place they can to get what they need to get out of her and they're going to move along hoping they can get a girl like you right even wealthy men will go after an average looking girl to bust her down right but they're going to spend the money and the time on you you're going to under, you're going to get to see much more things in life you're going to you're going to have your pros and cons but you're going to also have your pros are also going to be able to see more things you're probably going to get to travel you'll get flown out you'll this you that you all these things that's not happening to the average girl. She's not going to go get to see these beautiful things in life. No man's going to take her anywhere. He may take her across the street to the local KFC. He's not taking her to do all the things because he knows he doesn't have to because she is not attractive enough to demand those things. Now, there are delusional average women who do that. But we all have our lot in this life. So I do think unattractive women have something to complain about. They can't live your life. They can't, no matter how hard they try, even if they get in the best shape of their life, if they're not that good looking, they're not that good looking. So they absolutely have something to complain about. But at the same time, what do you mean? They're, you're allowed to complain too, ma'am. People are going to watch your video and hear your ass complain and rant. Why? Because you're ma'am, you're attractive. They'll probably be less likely to listen to an average girl complain about life. They'll listen to you complain about life just because you're pretty. You're absolutely allowed to complain. Because people will watch you complain and they'll help. They'll even help you get out of certain situations. If you go on here and start complaining about how broke you are, there will be men in your DMs like that. Oh, shit. I'll pay you $100 right now. The people will just start cash apping this girl. If she threw her cash app right now, money just start flowing. But if she's not pretty and she's ugly, like she said, and she's ugly, then guess what? She may get one cash app. $10 to the local Mickey D's. That's it. What did Kevin Salmon say? What did Camuel, Camuel, <laughs> what did Kevin Samuel say? We ain't finding enough for no money. You get second shift at the plant. It's the truth. Because everyone feels bad for them. Everyone's pitying them. See, but, uh, no, they're not. People will, okay, I'm going to let her talk, but people will feel worse for you, ma'am. They'll pity somebody who's not attractive, but they will absolutely pity your ass. Now, the way you're coming off in this video, no. But if you came out here crying, saying, man, I just don't have enough money to pay rent. Best believe your DMs are going to be blown up. But if you're not you're not that good looking, yeah, maybe somebody might throw something out of pity. But for you, they absolutely going to throw it out of pity because they're like, damn, she look way too good to not have money. Ugly people, oh my God, you are not allowed to have a mental health problem. Mm. And if you do, it is extraordinarily sexualized. So if another hot person... Wait, 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 wait. I got to hear that again. Oh, Oh my God, you are not allowed to have... I mean, literally, I'm the one listening to them and they're the ones complaining because ugly people are allowed to complain. Ugly people are allowed to complain because everyone feels bad for them. Everyone's pitying them. But ugly people, oh my God, you are not allowed to have a mental health problem. Mm. And if you do, it is extraordinarily sexualized. I'm a smart brother, but I can't put that one together. If I, find, if I know a female who's extremely attractive and struggling with her mental health, it's extremely sexualized. She had to explain that one out. Y'all explain that one to me. I don't understand. If a girl came up to me and said, I struggle with bipolar and she's a, a eight, nine or 10, I'm not going to be like, oh, that's so hot. No. I'm going to think, damn, that's, she's probably insane. I, I, okay. Let me take a step back. I, I Maybe I get it. Now I can quite understand what she's saying. Because, but that's the same thing you see with men too who are attractive. So maybe she is going both routes there. Because you see men who have anger problems. If they're attractive, it's not seen as anger problems. It's seen as, oh, he's just really aggressive, and I like that about him. He's just he's just a go getter. If you're ugly and you're angry, 
<laughs> she got me saying the damn word ugly. If you're unattractive and angry, it's seen as much worse. It's you're you're seen as insane. If you're a beautiful woman and you're if you're a beautiful woman and you're kind of crazy, I you know what I get that. You know what? Now I'll take it back because when you see movies and stuff like that, when the woman's extremely ex extremely attractive, but she's crazy, it's seen as a oh man, that's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. But if it's obviously somebody who's not attractive, you're like, damn, she's insane. She needs help. Okay. You got me there. You got me there, young one. So if another hot person walks into the room, align with them. Don't be all insecure, egotistical. Oh my word, there's another attractive person. That means that I'm not attractive anymore. Because when you're attractive, you start thinking that your only value depends on your looks. So if another attractive person comes in, that's super threatening. Don't think like that. That's your bestie. That's your new bestie. Girl, god dang. You gotta put some... Please push the mic away from your mouth. It will work just fine if it's not that close. If you're going to yell, pull the mic away. Come on. Damn. You ever made a video before? Okay. You put two hot people together and suddenly that's world domination. However, another. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, guys, for the volume. I, I hope I hopefully I'll fix it in the editing if it's too loud for me. A huge mistake I made because I've I've thought like this. Um. Not all hot people think like this either. And some pe hot people are okay, super see, I don't get it, man. What's with the ugly and hot? See, now you went from attracted to hot. Now, see, now you've sexualized yourself. Throw it out there. Secure because being attractive has damaged them seriously. Hello? And they will also try to destroy you. So don't think that every hot person is your friend. But ch test the waters a little bit. You know? <laughs> see, she knows see the how whole they world. about you. And... Just don't trust anyone ever as an attractive person. Don't trust anyone ever. I mean, as anyone. That's dangerous to say. That will, that will leap, ma'am, if you don't trust anybody. That's that's the end result for you. And you're going to have to go buy that dog, Sparky. Attractive women can end up by themselves, too, guys. Don't the, we all saw what happened to Diane Carroll. Don't trust anyone ever. I agree. Not with you, with the chat. Don't trust anybody ever. <laughs> well, you see her TikTok go support if you want to. Just don't go. Just don't go harass her. Don't do all that extra stuff. You know what I mean? Don't need to disrespect the young lady. You know what I mean? I I want to say this to end it for this young lady. Look, man. I never know what it's like to be attractive. You got me there, young lady. I'll never know what that feels like. However, I do know what it's like to treat people like fucking human beings. And to say ugly, hot, don't trust anybody ever. This girl is clearly hurt. There are plenty of attractive people out there who don't talk like this. She's hurt. She's probably got with a boyfriend and it didn't work out. She's probably had some bad experiences with uh, other people and women to where she thinks like this. This happens. Everybody makes a video after something bad happens. Um, I don't know what happened to her. She looks scratched up and a lot of stuff. So people make these videos when they're at their emotional height. And when you're normally at your emotional height, I'm sure you guys know this already, but the more angry you get and the, the more emotional you get, the lower your IQ drops. So you don't think as rational as you would if you were in a more calm state. So she may be excited or she might be upset or angry. So it seems like the stuff she's saying is stupid because it was. OK, she she's not wrong in how she's saying things, but she couldn't convey it exactly how she needed to. She immediately went to ugly people can't complain. I mean, ugly people can complain. And if you're, and it's just like, okay, <laughs> you act like ugly people have nothing to complain about. The people you're saying is unattractive. You act like there's nothing they can complain about. As if a person who is attractive can't complain. When we know people who are attractive, they can complain on a greater scale. They can get away with more because they are attractive. We see this happen in the court system. We see this happen with sentencing. It's just the halo effect. OK Cupid, if y'all remember, when OK Cupid, they put out their little uh, thing. They don't do it anymore, but they had a correlation chart, right? People who were attractive, one to one, personality one, and they're attractive one. Now, as you go up the scale, the more attractive a person got, let's say a person is a five, which would be the highest, but let's say in our world, a woman, a, a man or woman is a 10, their personality is always at the very top. So it's like the person who is very attractive at a 10, their personality is also ranked at a 10. That's how most people see the world. 
if you're attractive, that halo effect immediately makes you think they're a better person. So yes, absolutely a person who's attractive can complain because people are going to assume they're in the right because they look good. That's just, that's how we all think. It's hard to get past it, right? That's why you do see women who are crazy and attractive. Men are still attractive. That's why you see women who are attractive get away with toxic traits like yelling, uh, even punching, even uh, breaking out your windows. I mean, crazy shit. And some men say they still want it because the girl's attractive. They don't understand how crazy, crazy can be. But when you see it in a person who's attractive, you see it. She's right. When a person is attractive, their mental health is seen as more of a sexual thing. More, man, she's super hot when she's mad. Oh, man, he's super hot when he's mad. It's like, y'all, y'all, we look past it. So there are problems that attractive people have. But to say that if you're not attractive, you can't even have problems or you... Or you can complain and the world is just going to look at you and be like, yes, we're going to help you because you're not attractive. It's bullshit. People are going to look at attractive people and go, oh, you're struggling with your rent? Let's take care of that. Everybody, pitch in. All right.